Let's talk business. Today, I have a business English lesson for you. Do you have to use English for your work? Are you working for an international company? Do you have to go to meetings? So today, I want to help you with business English for situations such as meetings. In this lesson, I'm going to give you eight ways to interrupt someone in a meeting. So four formal ways to interrupt and four informal ways to interrupt. Let's go. Let's start. <laughs> so let's begin with the formal situations. How can we interrupt if someone is talking and you have an idea or a suggestion? What can you say? But you don't want to be rude, right? You want to be polite. So here are some common formal ways you can interrupt. Number one, I'm sorry to interrupt or sorry to interrupt, but could I make a suggestion, for example, or could I suggest something? So this is a very formal way, typical way to interrupt. Number two, I'd like to jump in here. It sounds a bit informal, but it's quite formal. I'd like to jump in here. Or I just want to jump in here. So that simply means, can I stop you and add something? Number three, excuse me, I'd like to say something. Excuse me, I'd like to say something. So that is very formal, isn't it? And number four, while we're on this subject, I'd like to, so I'd, I would, I'd, while we're on this subject, I'd like to, and then you have a verb. So I'd like to suggest something, or I'd like to add something, or I'd like to ask something, or I'd like to say something. Let's go to the informal ways to interrupt. More informal, so if it's a more casual meeting or a discussion in a business situation. Number one, can I just add, can I just add, so you want to add something and contribute something. Can I just add, bom, bom, bom. Number two, one quick thing, one quick thing. Can I, or what about, how about, and then you continue, one quick thing. Number three, just one thing. So it's quite similar, isn't it? Just one thing. And number four, I want to make a point here. I want to, I want to, contracted or connected. I want to make a point here. Or I'd like to make a point here. It's a little bit more formal. I'd like to make a point here. Or I want to make a point here. So there you go. We have eight different ways to interrupt. Four for formal situations and four for informal situations. So when somebody is talking and you, you can't wait, you need to add, you need to contribute, try using these in your meetings or your discussions. Here they are. Formal situations. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I'd like to jump in here, or I just want to jump in here. Excuse me, I'd like to say something. And while we're on this subject, I'd like to an informal. Can I just add one quick thing? Just one thing. And I want to make a point or I'd like to make a point here. Great. So write them down, start to use them 